We don't have very much time. Um, the interventions need to be radical. They probably can't be simply legislative. Um, the transformation needs to be fundamental in the way society works. I think the most important thing is that it holds out um, an idea that a reorganized economy will be more inclusive, and that's both in the building out of that economy, which will require people to do the labor. We need to build new infrastructure, we need to build new housing, we need to build new cities, we need to build um, you know, new ways of producing things, we need to build new agricultural systems. That's going to be pretty labor intensive. Um, and in that sense, that is really what sort of you know, uh, harkens back to the New Deal. It's an employment project in a certain sense. So what we need are organizations, not just of unions in workplaces, we need organizations that really do articulate, magnify, act as megaphones for the voice of working people. Because there are a few things that we know, and that is whether you're in a union or not, it's pretty easy to get people to support minimum wage laws. It's also pretty clear that one of the things that people quite generally support is, or one of the opinions that people have is that climate change is a big problem. Um, somehow we have a political system that does not act on those majoritarian views, right? Um, but unions can certainly play a role as an infrastructure for movement. They have money, they have resources, they have organizers that can actually start helping you know, build the political movement from below to help make the legislation from above actually be enacted. Um, you know, that's a real concern now. The lack of infrastructure is an issue. Uh, if we think about the 60s movement cycle, for example, there's a lot of movement infrastructure for the left. You know, unions um, are still declining. They're more active, but they are an essential infrastructure as long as they take the perspective that people like Sarah Nelson do, that Dave Reagan does, that other people do in terms of trying to think through new ways of mobilizing, organizing, um, to speak for working people as a whole.